Hey Taurus, this is your weekly reading for February. Let's jump in and see what message Spirit has for you guys. I hope all of you guys are doing well out there. You are happy, you are healthy, you are taking care of yourself. Okay? Give me cards here, Taurus Spirit. What message do you have here for Taurus? I feel like I gotta do this for some reason. I just feel it. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> I even did it like this and the same card came out. But you, okay, have it in the upright position. Um, and Gemini had this in the reverse position here, okay? You guys have the 11th house coming out here, Taurus. They're saying you've got friends. Friends are blessings in your life. Mm. They're letting you know that friends are a blessing in your life. If you can find some true blue friends out there that are loyal. They want you to connect with old ones, okay? Um, and open your heart to new ones here, okay? Definitely. If you have old friends or you've uh, disconnected from old friends, it may be a time to reconnect here, okay? You guys have Libra coming in. Venus energy all about love excuse me, love here and relationships. Uh, Spirit is saying a relationship is much like a dance. You both got to be in sync or a bitch going to fall over. That's what I feel. As long as you keep in step with your partner, you will both move forward together here, okay? But you both have to be in sync. You cannot just be doing things on your own, uh, making trying to make something work. It's not going to work, okay, if it's just you dancing there and the other person standing there, okay? You have the third house that is coming up here, Taurus. I feel like getting another one out. Sentimental uh, education here. Your ability to grasp new ideas is greatly enhanced. Learn something new. Teach what you know here, okay? Teach what you know. So let's go in and see what is going on for you guys, okay? This is definitely you needing to invest in yourself, this third house energy, uh, talking about your education here. Uh, I also feel like with this third house, siblings could be involved as well. So you may have someone, uh, a family member, um, or someone that you call family, doesn't have to be blood, okay, that comes toward, comes to you for assistance or help or helps you, okay? in this time of need you guys have the five of pentacles that is how you guys are showing up so it seems like uh, quite a few people are having some money issues and i correlate pentacles with money issues it could be health as well uh when pentacles shows up it's about your physical body as well so they want you to want you to take care of um the worldly things when it comes to your finances and your physical body as well okay that's what i'm feeling some of you guys you may be having negative thoughts or having um a very challenging situation surrounding a uh, financial hardship here or you have a um poor mindset towards money here Okay, maybe you guys are feeling like you're lacking in a financial area and you're not going to reach your goals of being financially stable or independent here. Okay, and you're struggling. Some of you guys are struggling alone. That's why you have the 11th house coming up saying you've got a friend. This is either your spiritual friends is me. Okay, um, or it is a, a past friend that is going to be coming back towards you here. Okay, whatever it is, I feel like uh, there may be someone coming towards you towards Virgo, Capricorn, another Taurus here, uh, that gives you val valuable information or advice in regards to money. So keep your eyes open keep your ears open keep your heart open to even bringing in new people towards yourself like your card is saying the 11th house reconnect with old ones old friends okay or business part well let me take that back some of you guys i feel like in in business if you left them maybe there was an issue here old friends let me put it that way or open your heart to new ones here so they're definitely wanting you to cultivate new relationships to nurture new relationships here uh taurus in your life okay this may bring you to a point of success this uh, king of pentacles that is showing up for you guys uh is an opportunity to put you in the driver's seat that's definitely what i'm feeling is crossing you it's not a challenge it's an opportunity to really get on your feet and gain your power back 
um, if someone gives you a job lead or they want to collaborate with you here, be open to do that is if it's legal. <laughs> Okay, um, but I definitely feel like there may be a situation uh, that comes up for you guys over the next several weeks here that could lead you to um, gaining some financial security in your life here. Okay, wealth or you building a company and being invited to work on a new project or work for a new organization or institution here. Uh, there may be a new job coming up for you guys or even a promotion you guys taking a position as in a managerial role or as a team lead or something of that matter here that is going to catapult <laughs> I said catapult that's that way okay that is going to elevate your financial um, status here that's what I'm feeling for you guys okay this Five of Pentacles is really temporary energy. I want you guys to know that as well. That is something that is not going to last for you. Um, when you get to the Five of Pentacles, it's all temporary energy, but it does depend on how your mindset is. So stay optimistic and continue to work towards your goal and continue to ground yourself in your uh, your abilities here, okay? Work with others. That's why you have this Libra energy coming up. You have to still give love out to others don't have the resting bitch face okay don't have that because you people won't approach you you won't be picked for any opportunities because you're mean mugging everybody here Taurus. okay don't be like that all right if you want to have a partnership that is healthy you have to also dance with your partner that's why you have this libra energy that is coming up here so let's see what else they want you to know what you need to focus on here see they're not just tell y'all this Collaborate, work with others here, okay? You can do all the soul searching. You can connect with your higher self. You can do all the introspection and you can do the shadow work here and come out beautiful. But if you are standing alone, who's working with you, okay? If you're trying to create a business, don't you know you need a team of people to help you do that? You cannot take on every aspect of a business alone. And vice versa, if someone else has a business, they want good people that are team players to help, okay? This can also go in regards to a, this can apply to a relationship here as well. If you're just the, the king or the queen of pentacles here, um and your person's not working with you, that's not much of a partnership or a relationship here, okay? You may have yourself a situationship here, and that's something that you need to think about. So Spirit is definitely letting you know in at that aspect that you need to do some soul searching to see if what you're involving yourself with is really um, vibing with you, okay? If it is serving your higher purpose here, if it's helping you elevate and grow, okay? So in the past here, you guys left something already or you're thinking about or what you were thinking about leaving something person, place or thing here with the six of swords here. OK, some of you guys may have been thinking about releasing baggage. A lot of you guys may have done it already. But look, the five of pentacles is here. Even though you haven't reached your goal doesn't mean that you're not going to reach it. It means that you haven't made it quite yet, but it's here for you. I know it is OK, because the king of pentacles is showing up for you guys. This third house coming in here may be the reason why you're not reaching that final destination of where you see yourself being or reaching that goal is because you need to invest in yourself a little bit more. Maybe you need to polish your skills up, change up your resume, um, connect with like minded people here. They're saying learn something new. OK, the third house is about education coming in here and your ability to grasp on to new ideas and release old ones okay that's what i feel like they're telling you guys okay they want to, they're wanting you to accept the lessons from the past so if you're trying to continue to think the same way that you thought in the past there's uh this need for you to change your mindset with the swords coming in here the six of swords is all about the swords is all about your mental okay so you have the high priestess that is crowning <laughs> that's crowning you some of you guys know this shit already okay you know it already um but some of you guys may be hesitant to step into the unknown as well. That's what I'm feeling with the high priest that is crowning you here. Um, what else would you like Taurus to know here? I feel like I called you guys.
Aquarius for some reason. Maybe because I said it before. If I have been, I'm sorry. But let's keep going. You know this is for you, Taurus. They're letting me know about hidden opportunities here. Okay, untapped potential. <laughs> All right, untapped happiness that you haven't tapped into yet. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups here. So they're definitely letting me know here in the future energy there is possibilities, blessings, and you will reach that successful place once you really tap into your higher self and take the advice and the guidance of your spirit guides. Okay, and the advice from yourself. Trust yourself to make the best decision for you. You know what you want. Okay, you know what you need here. Don't let anyone else tell you, okay, what you should and should not be doing. Only you know what is going to make you happy and what is going to make you satisfied here. But also realize what, where you are in your life. Think, think about where you are in the here and now, okay, and start to plan for your next step, okay? There's something else I want you to know. Your higher self is wanting you to know, geez, okay there's gonna be a breakthrough soon <laughs> i thought i was gonna say something messed up no i feel like there's going to be a breakthrough soon with this tower card here okay pleasant surprises that are coming in towards you here taurus okay some of you guys also have a lover here i just want to make that known and maybe a libra here a relationship that will develop between you and someone else and it definitely feels new okay if you're in a current relationship here i feel like once you become more emotionally stable, you and your person may be willing to dance together. Once you receive some, I feel like some of you guys may re be receiving a job or promotion or a stream of income that may be uh, affecting the relationship. Maybe money matters uh, are affecting the relationship here and kind of tearing you guys apart. And money can do that in relationships, okay? It has nothing to do with the person loving you. All about relationship, all about responsibility and not enough income to take care of those responsibilities here, okay? So I feel like there will be a breakthrough coming in towards you guys uh, where you guys will definitely receive what you need if you are in a committed relationship. If you are single here, you're going to receive what you need and there is a new relationship that will develop with someone possibly a Libra doesn't have to be okay but that tower card definitely feels um <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> there's your relationship here okay so there will if you're in a relationship committed I didn't even turn these over I didn't see them okay um there will be a breakthrough in a connection here okay um I feel like uh hearts will definitely crack open and be more giving here um your heart someone else's heart uh some relationship that you guys are in are uh, is going to be moved to the next level there's going to be a uh, talk of long-term plans being put in place i feel this could happen because we have the three of wands that's coming in here uh, making long-term plans this could be in a romantic relationship or a business aspect as well so spirit is um your higher self is definitely letting you know that change is coming towards you here not upheaval not a whole bunch of bull crap here i i do feel like uh this is actually a breakthrough it's love okay and it's an opportunity as well if we're talking about business and this is what you're resonating with an opportunity to really showcase your skills and your talents here okay so that's what you need to know here that there is going to be new relationships entering into your life if you're single um the forward movement in a current relationship or a new business relationship coming in with the ace of cups i feel like there will be this new love of life as well your life like you're going to be loving it here that's what they want you to know and they're wanting you to get in this energy where you feel very inspired to keep moving forward to keep building your empire okay adding people into your life that are um there for you that's beneficial that you resonate with that you vibe with you guys are on the same frequency and the same um you have the same uh goals in life here okay whether that's romantic or business here you're gonna have the opportunity to do both that's what i'm feeling here okay if you're lacking in a job too just know that uh, a job offer is coming in with that ace of cups ace of cups is not always just about love okay just to let you guys know what else would you like Taurus to know here, Spirit? 
Ooh, the world card here is coming in. It is good luck. It's good energy when you see this world uh, world card coming up here, okay? So they're definitely letting me know that uh, you may be quite busy very soon <laughs> with this world card, okay? Building your new life or going on this new advent adventure or going down this new path that's going to be very exciting for you here, okay? I feel like this is the end of suffering, the end of conflict in your life where you are feeling down or feeling abandoned or feeling like you're lacking in some areas of your life here over the next several weeks you guys may see a lot of things a lot of doors opening up to you here okay business and love that's what i'm seeing what is uh taurus final message here very nice we're gonna end with that Okay, I told you. You guys got the Ten of Pentacles that is rolling in. Okay, I love to see the Ten of Pentacles. I hope you do too, okay? <laughs> I feel like this is you leaving your legacy behind. They're letting me know that you guys are about to build something that is amazing. Build a life for yourself that you are going to be very happy with. Do you see? These are both your ending cards. This Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups. Either you're about to catch yourself a very prosperous business opportunity or job or position or catch yourself a husband or a wife. <laughs> okay, some relationship is about to start for you guys. Okay, you're going to be building with a team of people, romantic or business, um, and it's going to be long term. Enjoy this energy here. That's what I feel. Okay, that is your reading, Taurus. You know I love you guys. If you resonated with this reading, if you got a message out of this reading here towards, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload for you guys again. And subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.